Hi guys, so today we are going to try some marbling. I got this little kit at the dollar store actually, so I want to try it. So it comes with all these different colors in it. And you just fill up a shallow pan with water. So I have the water's about that thick, just so you can see. You can't see, I know it's transparent. <laughs> and it does have instructions on the back. I have some drawing paper that I got from the dollar store too. But they're actually supposed to be inks. Right, so you just kind of, of course you want something bigger than whatever you're using. And then all you do is just drip them in there, it says. But they're not really coming up. Let's see here. really have to press it quite hard. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I popped that off. Pop, pop. It's maybe not so hard. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm just going to kind of leave that in there. Oh, well, they pop off. <laughs> But as you can see, they're floating on top of the water, so that's a good sign, I think. Let's maybe do um, a deep blue. Let's do some green, some of this beautiful turquoise color. And I might just want to take, maybe I just want to take the lids off. Just kind of wipe. like that. Okay. And then I just have a skewer. But they're floating on the water, so that makes me think that maybe it will work. I wish they squeezed out though. That would have been nice. But as you can see, it is marbled. marbly ish Like that, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Okay, and they do float on top and it's marbled. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and take you can do this with fabric, they say too. Um, I probably won't try that, but I'll take their word for it. And there's just some right here on the side where it popped off. So I'm trying to see if I can get that down into the water, which I don't think I can, but I'm going to try. And you can do this with whatever kind of paper you want. Um, I'm going to stick probably with drawing paper because I do want to use this in projects. So, but absolutely use whatever paper you want. And then you just stick your paper in there. And they say you leave it in for a little while. So we'll just let that sit. Oops, but you can already see. Can you see that? So probably the thinner paper you have, the better results you'll have. But it looks really pretty. Look at that. <laughs> From the dollar store. Are you kidding me? How awesome is that? Wow. I am totally in love. I didn't think this through, though, because I don't have anything to put it on. Maybe I'll put it on a shoebox. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Alrighty guys, let's, I think there's probably enough ink in there to do another one. Um, so let's put another one in there. This is so cool. From the dollar store, how cool is that? And I would just have a skewer or you could even get combs um, just to, you know, distribute the color and make little swirlies like you see on um, marble paper has. This will take a little while to dry, but you see the effect. So I'll have it in a picture um, at the end. Look at that. And you can see how it takes on the ink. Isn't that great? You see, you can see 
um, that it takes on that marbled look. Maybe just stick that down a little bit. But I mean, you can't beat that a buck for marbling stuff. Are you serious? Wow, the dollar store never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> Righty. And you don't want to leave this paper in too long because it is fairly thin. So, yeah. So just kind of keep that in mind. So we'll just go ahead and take it out. Look at that. And it looks pretty. I mean, it's not as vibrant as the other one, but it works very well. It'll be pretty in the background or something. How cool is that? Okay, so let's do another one. We'll add some more colors. And I think if you wanted to, you could probably change the water out. I probably won't, though, to be honest. This is purple, the best color in the world, I think. And you see that they are inks because they do just float on top of the water. And we're going to do some green, some of that beautiful turquoise green. And I think I'm going to do some white. So I'm just going ahead and screwing these off because I think it works better. <laughs> Very cool. Alrighty. Okay. So let me get my trusty little skewer here. And we're just going to kind of scrape it a little bit. I so should have gotten more of those kits. There's like this one dollar store on Holly in Colorado that I so have been finding the best stuff. So I totally should have got another kit because they were almost gone. So I hope you guys can find this. That's the only thing is I'm like make a whole bunch of stuff because you know that we love the dollar store. We're gonna stick this in here. I can't believe this. Like I'm in total shock. Are you guys? Like you guys probably are not in shock, but I'm so happy right now. This is so cool, freaking cool. Wow, it did it. Look at this, guys. And I think maybe the longer you leave it in, the better you, the results are. Look at that. But it's marbled paper from the dollar store. How cool is that? Alrighty. Okay, let's stick another one in there. I don't know how much we're going to get off, but you can just keep doing it. I mean, this is awesome. And they say you can do it with fabric, too. I have to get another one so I can do fabric. Wouldn't that be cool? Alright, guys. So let's pull that one off. Let's move this over. Okay. And like I said, you just have to be careful with your thin paper because you don't want it to. But look at that. <laughs> but it's pretty and subtle and gorgeous and I love it. Okay, guys. So that's it. That's how you make simple marbled paper from the dollar store. And it looks so awesome. Look at this. So this is not dry yet, but I'll show you really quick. That's my favorite one right there, there. So it does have that beautiful marbled kind of technique. I'm going to continue to play um, with these wonderful beauties. And um, I'll see you guys later. Go and get a marbling kit from the dollar store. It works just like marbling. I mean, that's what you do is you get water and then you get some type of ink that stays on top of the surface and then the paper pulls it off. So this is really cool. And I made four sheet and sheets in less than 10 minutes. I wish that the squirt book parts worked better though. I think that would be awesome because then you wouldn't have to squirt so much and you could really get really cool effects. But what can you do? It's a dollar. Okay. So um, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.